Hello. Howdy. Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff. So when me and Ruth were in school, we both loved inventing things. So we thought we should set an invention challenge all around school. So we thought it'd be fun to ask kids for their classroom invention ideas, inventions to make those long lessons a little bit more exciting. And as always, we've put together a top five. So here are our top five classroom inventions. Top five inventions. Few people realise that the classroom blackboard is one of the most revolutionary classroom inventions. The invention of the blackboard had an enormous impact on how we learn. Lots of classrooms now have an interactive whiteboard, but the developments haven't stopped there with augmented reality and holograms. Who knows what the future holds? At number four, we have the humble calculator. Or is it? This YouTube channel shows you how to convert your calculator into a Game Boy. Now that's a cool invention. 3D printing in schools is allowing classrooms to print inventions. From custom parts or jewellery to prosthetic limbs, classroom inventors can design something in 3D software and then bring it to life. The Raspberry Pi revolutionised classroom computer science. These credit card sized computers are not just affordable but accessible, allowing anyone to solve problems and have fun. And at number one, chairs and tables might not seem a very inspiring invention, but strap a few rockets to a computer chair and it becomes much much more exciting. Well, there are some great classroom inventions out there, but the one thing we noticed was that lots of them seemed to be designed by adults. Which meant they weren't quite as exciting as they could have been. So we thought it'd be really fun to ask kids to send us their own ideas for classroom inventions. Because we think you could do a much better job. So we're looking for your drawings and videos of you explaining your invention ideas. And we'll choose one to build and test. So you can send your invention ideas to our website, which will on the screen. Appear on the screen. And the closing date for this is the 28th of February 2018. So send us lots of stuff. Kids is that stuff. So here's a question for you. So when people talk about school, they often talk about the things that they were really good at. And um, what were you rubbish at in school? Uh, I was always pretty bad at spelling. Okay, I can't say I've noticed, but I'm I, have, I totally have noticed. <laughs> Just bad spelling. And I very, pretty much, I did pass, but I very nearly failed my physics exam at A-level. Did you find the maths hard? No, I fell asleep in my practical. You fell asleep in, in an exam? That's amazing. We need, we need an invention that likes to keep you awake in the exam. Yeah, funnily enough, we don't get a very good score in an exam if we fall asleep. I, I can kind of get that. What about you? Uh, so I was always terrible at anything that involved a ball in sports. So like, I have... So I, I'm not very coordinated, I'm quite clumsy. Oh, I don't know it. I, I do kind of fall over things quite a lot. But I... Um, whenever there was like a ball, maybe it was like, um, it was like tennis or cricket or like rounders or something, Whenever there was a ball, I I would either miss it all the time, or um, the times I did hit it, I would hit it so hard that it would either like terrify everybody that they were going to get like smashed in the face of a ball, or the ball would just get lost. So no one really wanted to play Nobody sports. Nobody ever with Sean. wanted to play. <laughs> like no one would play tennis with me because they would just they would just lose the tennis ball, or they would basically just get smacked in the face. Um, so um, I was probably pretty dangerous to play sports with. Put in the comments what you didn't enjoy or weren't very good at, <laughs> at school because I think there are lots of things that people are good at at school yeah. but I think sometimes it's nice to celebrate those failures. <laughs> the things that you struggle with are I guess they're good things to learn from aren't they? Yes. 